Here's another handy dandy Inspire video from Mrs. Taylor. We're going to do quantitative graphs using frequency tables. In our previous example, we did just a single list of data, but often data is organized in tables where you have the values of the variables in one column and their frequencies or how many of each of those values are in another column. This particular data is about heights and it's from page 91 in your textbook. In the upper right hand corner you'll see a blue table that says heights and counts. I use the word frequency instead of counts because the word count on your calculator is actually a function so we can't use it as a variable name in our list. And it will pop up a little box telling you that if, if you try to use it. Um, so I'd like you to pause right now and put in those values. Please note that the first and third columns are actually all the heights, so the heights go down to 76, and then the uh, second and fourth columns are their frequencies. So you want to put all of the heights in one list and the frequencies in a second list. Now that you've done that, um, go to Control Doc and do a data and spread a data and statistics page, and go down to the bottom click to add a variable and choose height. Oh dear, I've got a problem here. I don't think someone has a height of 5. I apparently typed a data value in wrong. So notice when we have an outlier, sometimes an outlier is just a mistake and you need to go back and correct it. Up oh, there we go. I typed in 5 instead of 65. So I'm going to correct that and go back to my graph. Now the graph automatically gives me a nice window for the data that I had and this was not nice data. So I'm going to open a new window just to start fresh with a nice uh, window setting for my correct data. And there we go. This looks a whole lot better. So this is what my data should look like. Uh, notice there's only one dot for each value because I just have so far just have the list of the heights but not their frequencies. Now to get the frequencies, it's really important that you do this in the right order. You hover your cursor over the box on the left hand side, but don't click menu. Click control menu. When you click control menu, you get these choices. One of which is add variable and the other is add Y summary list. The Y summary list is the frequency of your variable. So we add that, go to frequency, and now we have our histogram with each bar um, representing one of the heights and how many of their there are at each height. And like we did before, we can change bin widths if we want to. Do notice that, uh, for example, I'll just do the tallest one because it's easier to see. Notice it goes from 64.5 to 65.5. That's so all of the heights of 65 end up inside the bar and not on the edge of the bar. And there's 20 heights at that value. If I want to change the width of the bar, I can drag and, and do that and so forth. And I can also make a box plot um, by going to menu and changing to box plot. So you can also make a box plot um, with a frequency menu. So notice that when I changed into the frequency, it automatically turned into a histogram. So you can't do a dot plot with a frequency table, just a histogram or a box plot. And that's all for this video.